This is going to be one of my favorite bowling balls this year for league patterns. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking out our review on the new Hustle USA. And for me, since we're in Canada, I'm gonna spell that with an E-H. So we're bowling on a uh, pattern after league here at Super Bowl lanes. So this is where this ball would come into play. This is about game three, four on it. And uh, let's see what this ball's capable of. Hustles are, uh, in my opinion, one of the best low-end binds in bowling. Best bang for your buck. Really like that a lot. Really controllable. I think this is gonna fall, oh, kind of between where, it kind of reminds me of the old Hustle Hybrid. If anybody had that, the blue one. It's a little smoother with the bigger cover stock and a little bit sanded finish. And it just, it falls right with all those other Hustles. It just is so good for the price point. It outperforms it by a mile. And I just, I really, really have liked these balls on league patterns and even on tournament conditions when there's a little lower volume. The wine's been one of my favorite, and uh, I'm really liking this USA so far. Carries everything. See how every, everybody's excited about the Hustle USA. We have to be too. I'm gonna compare it today to the uh, Hustle wine. I never drilled a camo. I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's, uh, I love the Hustle ink, and every Hustle I've drilled so far I've had success with, so I think this is gonna be a lot of the same thing. I think this is, this is gonna be one of my favorite bowling balls this year for lead patterns. It really kinda of looks like the, uh, the Crux Prime too, which I thought was a really cool looking bowling ball. So I think the shelf appeal on this one's great. Let's throw one more here and then we'll see uh, what it's like compared to the Hustle Wine. They're both laid out the same. It's my typical four and a half by five and a half by two and a half laid out. So it ends up pin up. Really good starting point I find for asymmetric, or sorry, for symmetric bowling balls. So I think that would be a great look right now. So it's great to have a ball that's controllable like this, but weak enough I can throw it after three full games of league and still control the pocket. So we'll switch here to the Hustle Wine. Just changed it out with my Jopo interchangeable grip. If you haven't checked out Jopo, make sure you do online. I think it's the best interchangeable thumb on the market. I'm gonna line up the same here as the Hustle USA. I expect this to be a little bit cleaner and significantly quicker down lane. Way cleaner there. I missed a little bit to the right, but still, way cleaner. Didn't make the motion down lane. The Hustle Wine kind of reminds me of uh, IQ Tour Emerald area. A little bit weaker version. I bring it pretty much everywhere with me for when they get really, really burnt up. I don't think there's a better ball for me, at least. So I'm gonna go two right of where I was on that shot. That's a better shot. Threw that a lot better. So you can see, significantly cleaner through the front, but still makes a really controllable but strong motion down lane. But when that ball starts to go, I feel like it does not quit. Kurt just reminded me behind the camera there that this is the ball that I shot 250 something with my last game of team trials this year at Team Canada Tryouts. So, uh, as I said, I really like this ball. It's done a lot of good things for me so far and 
I hope the USA starts to do the same thing. Wow. So in all honesty, if I was gonna throw that ball, I'd probably move a little farther left, slow it down, and kind of circle it a little bit more. So I'm gonna try that once with the USA, see what it does, and then we'll go back to the wine and see if it's uh, how it looks doing that. I think this is a true test of a bowling ball is when you can play different parts of the lane with it. The hustles have been really successful for me doing that so far. So I'm hoping that the USA does the same thing. I'm gonna go six left to where I was lined up with it before. Slow down a little bit and get my hand around it. Close. Okay, we're gonna go two more from that last one with the Hustle USA and see what happens. Wow! That's a mean nine pin. But that shows you what kind of motion this ball still makes down lane. Even though it's a little bit duller surface, it still comes around the corner and doesn't quit. So I'm really impressed with this ball so far. Try one here from straighter just to see what we can do with it. If we back our hand up the back of it a little bit. Really like that too. If I can play that light mixer and back my hand out of it. I think my favorite ball for versatility that I've ever thrown so far is an IQ Tour. And this has given me a lot of those IQ Tour vibes, but I would say it's actually a little bit earlier and a little bit more round than the IQ Tour can be. The IQ Tour can get a little quick sometimes, especially once it lane shines. And this USA seems to really control the pocket. It really controls the down lane motion. Got that one into the puddle a little bit. Never gonna from there. So I'll try and throw one more good one here with that. So again, just backing my hand out of it, roll in the back. Trying to really control the down lane motion. Gotta get it to the drive a little bit earlier than I did that last one. That's better. I love the way that ball just blends off of it. I really, really enjoy that ball motion. And when I can go anywhere from five, fifth, sixth arrow to third arrow on this house pattern, that there's a quite a bit of friction on the right side of the lanes here. That's a ball that to me should be traveling with me because I can use it in a lot of different situations. So we'll try the hustle line from those three zones. See if we can see a little more difference. and that's just the difference in traction. That's what I think is gonna make these a great one-two punch. As soon as this USA starts to roll a little too early, I think you're gonna be able to go to a hustle wine. These are gonna be bowling balls I think at this house I use a lot. Higher friction house. I tend to have to hook it quite a bit here. So if I can use a little bit weaker bowling ball to start and stay in it longer, I think I have more success when I'm able to do that. So I'm gonna go left with this one. This is where I nine pinned with the Hustle USA. So let's see what the wine does in comparison. So getting around the side of it and a little slower. Miss left. Never gonna hook from there. If I get that to the dry, that's gonna hook. So try one more. Let's try not to miss left this time. If you guys like this jersey, make sure you check out iambowling.com. Use promo code DHBOWL for 20% off your order. And if you want to check out a Hustle Wine or a Hustle USA, 
make sure you go to boofabowling.com, use promo code DHBOWLING, and you can get 10% off your order that way. Okay, again, nice and slow, gotta get it to the dry early. I think this ball will see it pretty good. That should be pretty good. Just a little too early for the ball yet, I think. Throw one more here with the USA. And remember, that is spelled E-H, because we're in Canada. I think we need to make a Canadian version of this ball. I want to see an all red and white one next. We don't even have to call it the Hustle USA, just call it the Hustle, eh? All right. Let's make this one good. Last shot here. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on your notification bells because we're gonna be uploading a lot more videos. We're trying to get back into doing this more. Let me know what you think of the new format and we'll see you in the next video.